It is important to keep in mind that new evidence appears often. We should rely on the most current information. For example, data from 50 years ago would tell us something different than the data we have access to today. This is because the data have been scrutinized and claims have been tested and retested. When we use this evidence to make claims, it is important to use the most current data available. New evidence appears often. Be sure to stay current and research new evidence as it becomes available. Another thing to keep in mind is that evidence will not provide the answer to what we should do. It only supports the need for action. Local conditions, specific needs, preferences, and history will all influence success. Remember, you are dealing with a community of people, and you need to consider not only the problem, but also the ability of the community to assist in the solution. Finally, evidence that is collected is usually collected from only a subset of the population. Statistical inferences are based upon the probability that the subset data reflect the population data. Do not make assumptions about the entire community based on data from a subset of the community. These are just a few considerations when using evidence to make claims. While these tips will help in finding current evidence, they won't do much to make sure the evidence you are using is valid. Let's take a look at the differences between strong and weak evidence. So then, if evidence is dynamic and is always changing, how do we know if the evidence we are using is credible? All evidence is not created equally. How do we assess which evidence is better? Let's take a look at these charts. We'll compare stronger to weaker evidence. As you can see in the chart, weaker evidence contains only a few observations, while stronger evidence contains many observations. Stronger evidence is collected through scientific study where a hypothesis is developed and based on theories or conceptual models. Weaker evidence is based on case studies or anecdotal evidence. Another way to discern strong evidence from weaker evidence is if reports are published in a peer-reviewed journal or not. Also, look to see if the evidence reproduces findings from other studies. If the evidence is new and has little or no prior evidence to back up the claims, scrutinize the data. Finally, every study will have some limitations. For example, there is often inherent bias when volunteers are used as participants in studies. The data collection methods should be mentioned in the report, as well as the limitations of the data. If limitations are not mentioned, the data should be scrutinized more carefully.